Next, we're going to show how to add the power meter and to check the comm settings and devices on the smart logger. So first you need to log in as advanced user with the password five zeros followed by a one. This allows you to change passwords, but more importantly, look at COM parameters. And here we can see um, the RS-485 port details, uh, Ethernet and management system. So I'll have a quick look at Ethernet. Um, this one's already online, so it's picked up an Ethernet address. But the management system is where we want to make sure that we've got the correct IP. We'll have to add this for um, NetEco. So 52651934, um, port 16100. Uh, enable those, uh, then do a network test to make sure that you are connected to the Huawei um, NetEco portal. The test will run. Got four ticks. Says OK. Great. OK, so we've now put this uh, smart logger onto the NetEco monitoring platform. Now we're going to go and add the, the meter to the list of devices. Now I've already done this, so you'll see that uh, we've got the inverter, which is the Sun 2000. It is detected automatically, but the power meter you need to add manually. So you choose manual add, choose power meter, and then accept. So now we've configured um, the main devices. We can also check the serial number. You'll need this when registering for the online portal. So if you go through to the about page, you can see the serial number of the, the device, there it is, and take a picture of that or write it down because you'll need it when you go to register online with NetEco. In order to connect to the smart logger, you need to connect the cable directly between your computer, your Ethernet cable, and your PC, and put an IP address manually into your PC within the same range as the smart logger has been set to, and, but not the same address. So in this case, dot two is slightly different. First you need to log in. Make sure that you put the HTTPS colon slash slash in front of the IP address of the smart logger. So remember to check the smart logger's comms parameters to find out what its IP address is and install that. Now depending on what browser you're using you might get a security alert because uh, there's no SSL certificate being um, supplied with the unit but that's not, not a problem. You're local, it's not the internet. So to log you in to this point, where you've got to select special user. Uh, special user gives you a certain functionality. The password's change me with a capital C. Capital C, change me one word. Right, and we're logged in. Love those passwords. And of course, it's warning you that uh, you've got the default password. Um, you can change it if you wish. So next, we're going to look at what we can do with uh, the interface here. We can add items to our plant and we can specify a meter uh, and configure the meter to be added to the plant so it monitors correctly. So you can see that it's already detected the inverter. The inverter is connected via RS-485. Uh, We're just going to add to this the smart meter. Uh, the smart meter will be under settings. You have to choose the right RS-485 um, port that you connect the smart meter to. In this case, it was the second port. The board rate is 9600, no parity, one stop bit. And we're using an Algodui UPM209, and the meter can be added quite easily at this point. So we're going to, if, we, if you're using any other meter, make sure you select it from the drop down list. There's quite an extensive list of meters, uh, but we're just going to use the Algduo. Uh, as our meter for this application. Here you can see the list of meters, the Algodue UPM209 is the meter we're using. We don't need to change anything unless you're using a current transformer which may have ratios that you need to apply but if you're using whole of current uh, you can just leave those uh, as one. So now we've submitted that, it's been set and we should be able to go and see uh, that the power meter is visible. So we're going to have a little look at the overview page and check out to see what devices are running. And from the device list we can tell if the meter has um, been added and also 
uh, if it's been detected. So here we can see the um, the plant and we're going to monitoring and uh, we've got the meter on the left it's just loading and the inverter below it and if there is a green button next to it that means it's receiving data so there you go the green light um, on the common interface number two is got a green light which means it's reading data from the meter and you should be able to see things like kilowatt hours etc this unit's currently not generating so we're not seeing any active power um, because the sun hasn't come up so that's the, the basic procedure for adding a meter uh, to the smart logger. So next we're going to look at how to export limit. This is often a requirement by uh, DNSPs or utilities when installing a system on a commercial uh, installation. So we select export limitation. Uh, this is super easy. We really just need to set what the kilowatt maximum grid feed in power is. Uh, it defaults to 15 kilowatts. You can adjust that up to the maximum power of the inverter and right down to zero. So we're just going to change it in this case to 20 kilowatts, which is what we're allowed to do. Uh, and then press submit. And we've now completed export limitation uh, on the smart logger, which will control the power output. Uh, of the Huawei 29.9 kilowatt inverter. And there we go, succeeded, confirmed, all done.